السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Uh, today, inshallah, I'm going to talk about equilibrium and what are the factors which can change the equilibrium of any chemical equation in a reversible reaction. First of all, state two feature of an equilibrium, or sometimes in paper four, we have a question, define, define the word equilibrium. When you need to write the definition of equilibrium, okay, you have to write the following, or the features of equilibrium, or characteristics of equilibrium process. Number one, number one. Equilibrium means, equilibrium means the rate of forward reaction equal rate of reverse reaction. Number two, concentration of reactant and the product doesn't change. Concentration of reactants and the products stay the same, stay the same or doesn't change or whatever is the word you have to write in this case. Okay, so I have here two feature for equilibrium, the forward reaction equal the rate of forward reaction equal the rate of backward reaction or the rate of reverse reaction. From left to right, this is the forward reaction. From right to left, this is the backward reaction or reverse reaction. This is number one, definition of equilibrium. Number two, what are the factors which you can use to change the equilibrium process? You have two factors. Number one, you have temperature. Temperature. Number two, you have pressure. So how many factor? Two factor, temperature and pressure. Let's talk about temperature. Number one, you have to know what about this chemical reaction? Is it exothermic or endothermic? Sometimes the examiner will tell you the reaction is exo or endo. What is it here? The reaction is exothermic. So which reaction is exothermic? Forward reaction or backward reaction? In this case, he means the forward reaction is exothermic. Sometimes he didn't write the word exothermic. And instead of that, he will write here, Delta H equal negative, negative whatever the number, negative 200, negative 300, according to the equation, according to the chemical reaction. What's important for me, the negative sign. The negative sign means the forward reaction is exothermic reaction. So this is exothermic reaction. So I know this is exothermic reaction. So what would happen if you increase the temperature? I know the forward reaction is exothermic reaction. If you increase temperature, if you increase temperature, the equilibrium shifted to the opposite direction. Forward reaction is exo and you increase the temperature. So the reaction, the reaction, the equilibrium shifted to the left hand side, left hand side. If right hand side exo and you increase the temperature, equilibrium shifted to left hand side. So if I increase the temperature, ask yourself, what about the forward reaction? Forward reaction is exo. Oh, and I increase the temperature. So equilibrium shift. Two shifts to lift hand side. Lift hand side. What does it mean? Amount of SO2 and oxygen will increase. So if you need to increase, if you need to increase the amount of SO3, what does it mean? You need to shift the equilibrium to the right hand side. Well, what about the forward reaction? Forward reaction exo, and I need to increase the percentage, the amount of SO3. I need to shift the equilibrium to the right hand side. What should I do? You have to decrease temperature. So in this case, if you decrease the temperature, decrease temperature, the equilibrium shifts to right hand side and amount of SO3 increase. This is about temperature. 
Number two, about the pressure. Number one, ask yourself a question. Is it suitable to use a pressure or not? How can I know? Count number of moles, number of particles, of molecules. Here, what is the number two? With oxygen, there is one here, yes? So what is the total number of molecules here? Two is CO2 and one oxygen. So total number of moles is three. In the product, number of moles is two. Number of moles of reactant doesn't equal number of moles of a product. Here is three and here two. So you can use a pressure in this case. Okay, I have two options. Number one, I can increase the pressure. Increase the pressure. If you increase the pressure, what about the equilibrium? Shift it to the left-hand side or right-hand side. What is the rule? If you increase the pressure, if you increase the pressure, equilibrium, shift to the side of this number of molecules of this number of moles. This is the rule you have to put in your mind. If you increase the pressure, if you increase the pressure, equilibrium shifts to the, the side of this number of moles. Here, on the left-hand side, three moles. On the right-hand side, two moons. So what happened if you increase the pressure according to this rule? According to this rule, if you increase the pressure, the equilibrium shifts to the right-hand side because on the right-hand side, fewer number of moons. Here, two, but here is three. Thank you for listening. For more videos and for more information, follow our Facebook page, IGCC Chemistry Muhammad Bazid. Thank you for listening. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.